the Great Depression, the time when worldwide GDP fell by 15%, compare that with recent 2008 crash where world GDP only fell the teeny tiny 1%. The time where unemployment in the US rose up to 25% and people experienced the most extended economic downturns that was a stretch for a decade. Welcome to another episode of In 2 Minutes where we will tell you what Great Depression was and what caused the most massive economic meltdown of the 20th century. Let's take a step back to early 20s where World War I left Europe in ruins and the United States taking advantage of this became the largest economy of the world. President Herbert Hoover predicted that there will be no poverty in the US. However, what happened during the late 90s proved he was dead wrong. US economy was not able to expand further and a small slowdown kicked in. With the smallest downturn, rich folks panicked and cashed out their inflated profitable stocks and this tanked the stock market. They further pulled out all their money out of banks and took them on the verge of solvency. The ripple effect caused further fear and companies went broke, people lost their jobs and a major economic crash occurred. Meanwhile, American agricultural sector added fuel to the fire and lobbied Congress to pass new tariffs against agricultural imports. This legislation obviously invoked retaliatory tariffs whose natural effect was production in global trade and spreading the downtrend across the globe. The Great Depression ended with the start of World War II where governments spent tons of money in production. Also, recovery measures taken by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt helped the economy get back on its feet again. Now the question is, do you find any similarities between what caused the Great Depression and what is happening now in 2019? We will answer this question in another episode of In 2 Minutes. Stay with us and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below if you find this information useful. See you in the next video.